ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Gaming with me, Tony Mo. Happy Friday to you. And I'm here today with a bit of a story, an Elite Dangerous story. This is from my uh, my adventures last night in Elite. I was spending some time trying to build up some credits to buy that wonderful, beautiful Cobra Mark III so I could really head out into the universe, start to maybe do some bounty hunting even. You know, really have a ship that I could build out that could take me to planets, take me to new places, and let me kill things while also being much more survivable. The Sidewinder's cool, and I like the idea of sort of trying to survive in the Sidewinder, but the reality is it just doesn't work, and that's really where our story starts. I was on my way to Crown Enterprise, turning some fat cash for a mission, and also to upgrade my jump drive so I could make a further jump to turn in another mission when I was interdicted. Good old interdiction. Hits you like a wet noodle on the side of the face. Me, being the silly, noobish, sidewinder, mostly penniless pilot that I am, figured, oh, I'll just submit. It'll probably just be another sidewinder, possibly a bounty hunter, an easy kill for me, and an easy chunk of cash. Lo and behold, I'm greeted by an ASP explorer. The first thoughts through my mind were, hmm, maybe he just wants to trade. The second thoughts were, nope, he definitely does not want to trade. He wants to kill me. Oh, but he's in an ASP explorer. How well kitted out can an ASP explorer be? Turns out pretty well as he crushed my shields in a matter of seconds as I tried to turn on him. Seems like the guy in the ASP was better at uh, dogfighting than I was, and his ship was also far more well-equipped. I don't know really why or where I ever thought that my Sidewinder with its puny gimbal pulse lasers was even going to punch through his shields, but I did for just a second. Realizing my mistake and hopefully getting out of there before my hull took significant damage, I hit the thrusters, put all engine to the systems, and... I should say all power to the systems in the engine and tried to frame shift drive to crown enterprise i was able to regain my shields fortunately i was able to regain my shields now i'm figuring i'm gonna jump and i start seeing something in my comms display and i'm thinking to myself oh the police are here great they're gonna try and arrest me of all people you know pretty much immediately accusing them because in the beta let's be honest that's often what the game's ai did but as it turns out they're actually uh, here for Mr. Asp Explorer Man, uh, a bounty hunter who turned out to be rather famous by the name of Bonzus Ringi. And they start engaging him. And all of a sudden I realize, just as I'm about to jump, that his shields are being obliterated. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go help the police out. I'm going to be a good citizen. Citizens arrest rest right here, right now. So I turn around, I stumble back into this guy. I start engaging him with my really cruddy pulse lasers, which, by the way, those lone pulse lasers overheat like a biatch. They are terrible. At, regardless, though, his hull was getting shredded. His shield... So we're able to go back up for about a fraction of a second, but you're dealing with two federal, or, you know, two pilot uh, police ships here. They were pretty much just able to tear it down, and I was able to end up saving my uh, heat on my lasers and then getting in the final bursts on this son of a you-know-what. He's all like, impossible, and I'm like, well, there's three people shooting you. <laughs> and I end up claiming a 32,000 credit bounty off that guy. Needless to say, I was pretty stoked. I, uh... I, I was giddy. There were tears of joy crying down the front of my spacesuit. And I was able to jump back to Crown, uh, spend a bunch of money to get my ship further upgraded to start making some of these bigger jumps, and still have the 32,000 credits on top of that. So, at the end of the night, I was able to walk away with about 156,000 credits after doing significant upgrades to my ship. I actually increased my uh, shield system. You know, I realized that I'm going to be in this ship for a little bit. I want to as well boost my survivability. Um, you know, which will just, in general, make earning credits that much easier. To me, it just seemed like a really great decision. I was really actually excited um, just to see how much money I could make in the first day, though. You know, obviously, I really worked for it, and there was sort of a trend that I had to recognize. Initially, I'm picking up these missions, and I'm like, oh, it's only 7.9 light years away, and I realized it was one jump. So that's kind of how the first piece of the ship upgrade went. You know, for a while, I was like, maybe I can get away... Uh, with earning money without upgrading the Sidewinder. I think you could, but it would take a really long time because you'd have to constantly stay in system. You'd actually end up making probably longer routes. These routes were significantly shorter, but they were just bigger jumps. So I ended up spending the money. I think my jump capacity at the end of the night last night was like 11 light years. So pretty good. I did a frame shift drive upgrade. I did like a fuel upgrade. Um, and like I said, I also did some boost to my shielding. I did a few other things. I equipped it. I actually equipped um, 
I actually held off on the guns. I was going to go with two brand new pulse lasers, but I held off on that for now. I figure anything that I can't kill with those lone pulse lasers is probably going to kill me. So that's my thought process right now, and there you guys have it. A wonderful little story with Elite. There's one There's one more small piece of, of lovely random Elite moment to share with you guys. It was after I had went to Crown Station, I you know landed, took care of things, turned in my bounty, and I'm about to leave, and there's a guy in the landing pad next to me. He's coming in in a sidewinder, and all of a sudden somebody starts shooting him, so I'm thinking maybe he's getting chased by a very bold player pirate. I'm like, oh man, this guy's screwed. I'm gonna help him, you know? Like, I'm so ready to be like that knight in space. Like, I've got this guy. Don't worry, I'll save you. So I turn, and what do I see? A police, you know, viper or whatever it was. And I lock on. I'm like, nope, never mind. I'm sorry, pal. You are, uh, you're on your own there, would be little pirate friend. So probably a new player, not really realizing how incredibly difficult it is to do anything illegal in a sidewinder, and he got annihilated right on the launch pad. Nonetheless, Elite moment made me smile, big lovely grin, and I decided to call it a night right there. So there you have it ladies and gentlemen, a little bit of a story from the wonderful world of Elite Dangerous. I hope you guys have a happy Friday and an outstanding weekend. Get out there, play some video games, hang out with your friends, have a good time, stay safe. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.